Okay, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to install the Web Developer Toolbar for Firefox. Uh, the Web Developer Toolbar is a popular toolbar for Firefox um, used by many of the profile designers on Gaia Online. Uh, it's also very handy for any other kind of web development you may be doing. Okay, so you start up on your home page, you know, just open up your internet browser. Uh, this is for Firefox, by the way, so if you're using Internet Explorer, Opera, Safari, any of that, you have to, it's for Firefox. Um, it's also available for any other, any other um, browsers that are based on Firefox, uh, such as Flock, which I have installed here, uh, Lolifox, uh, stuff like that. Okay, so first thing you want to do is go to google.com, just type that in, and then type in web developers toolbar. Press enter. Alright, you want to click the first link. As soon as it loads. And we'll see Mozilla Corporation. Okay, I've already got it installed, so it's not going to be the same way that you would be doing. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Add to Firefox. And then we're going to go Install Now. And as you'll see, it's downloading. Slowly, but surely. Okay, and then you're going to want to restart Firefox. Okay, and then you should see it uh, just on there. But since I've already got it, I didn't even have to go up here to the bit by the navigation bar and go ahead and click it. Okay, so here it is. I'll zoom in so you can kind of see what it looks like. Oh, darn it. Okay, um, you'll see it's got disabled cookies, CSS, forms, images, information, miscellaneous, outline, resize, tools, view source, and options. And those are your basic um, little headings. Um, they all they all function like drop down, so you click it and you can just tab over like that, and, you know, go down. It works like your typical drop down menu. Um, going across the top, showing you kind of some what you can do with this. Uh, disable is kind of nice. The zoom in feature for Mac is a little odd, so zoom in or not. Okay, so you can, you can disable JavaScript, uh, pop a blocker for Firefox page colors, stuff like that. Um, cookies, it's got kind of, it's got like edit cookies, add cookies. Um, cookies are stuff like that, like stuff that you use to log into sites, stuff like that. You can disable cookies and like that. Um, this is the one that you're going to want to like or want to be using. Uh, mostly it's a CSS tab for profiles on Gaia. I'll go ahead and go to my Gaia profile to show you some of the stuff that you can do with it. Waiting for Gaia to load. Okay, you can go to My Gaia and then Profile. And then I'll zoom in for that. I want to snap back again. There you go. Alright, so click that. And now wait for my background to load because it's kind of big. Okay, so you'll see that I'm on, on my profile. Uh, there's several ways you can get to the CSS editor. Uh, if you're on a Mac, you're going to be using Command Shift E, and if you're on a PC, you're going to be using Control Shift E. So Command Shift E, Control Shift E. So I'm going to go ahead and press that, and you'll see my little CSS thing pops up. Uh, if you're if for some reason you have an on-screen keyboard or something like that, you can just go to CSS and edit CSS is also. Okay, so then we got. And now it's showing all of the CSS style sheets uh, files that are applied to the Gaia profile. Uh, header, common, custom, theme, legacy, smileys, alert, and embedded styles. Okay, and then you can see it has some little stuff here for you to choose from. Clear, reset, um, apply, stick, stuff like that. Um, you know, they also have this, and you press this, the toolbar moves to wherever you want it to be. Um, by default, it's on the bottom, but it can be a left, top, right, or bottom doesn't matter. Okay, so um, uh, the tab that you're going to be wanting, wanting that you're going to want to be using is the embedded styles tab, which this is all the styles that you're using on your profile, and this is the same for both V2 uh, slash new profiles and classics slash old school. Um, so here's all my CSS. 
that I've got applied to my profile. So if I go, so if I select it all of it and then I backspace, you'll see now it's reset to the standard, um, you know, uh, custom profile. And we can put some CSS in here. We go number content background number one two three. And that'll turn that'll turn the background of the content black. And you'll see now the content is black. And then we can add color number one two three for white. And you'll see that it's now white. Okay. So there's some basic CSS. Oh, editing issue. Then you can just like you can use Control Z for um, that, like backspacing. You know, like um, undoing. And then now it's back to my standard profile. Um, another nifty thing you can do with this: um, uh, if you're on Mac, it's Command Shift F. If you're on PC, it's Command or Control Shift F. Go ahead and press that, and then it brings up this thing right here, and Mine is good. If I can, if I can get a, if I can grab it, which I can't grab mine because it's in, this thing's in the way. But anyway, um, you can click, you can click any any of the like attributes on the page. So, like if I click this, you'll see that it's, you'll see up here that it's the content, and if I click this, it will show me all the attributes for the content. And you can click position, stuff like that. Uh, ancestors, what it's, you know, like, and every, anything that it's inside of. So you'll see that it's part of the extended profile body and the site. And then HTML is on the end, or beginning. And then it says children, which is number, or sidebar, main, and then dot clear. Um, so this is pretty handy if you're on V2 and you're trying to figure out what a specific class or ID is. And that's an, that's an easy way to figure out what it is to edit it in the CSS. So like you can see that this is about dot section and these like the class is dot section and the DI or and the ID is about. Uh, same goes for you know details. Here's details number info definition term, and that's inside of the definition list for the number for the detail section. Uh, so that's that. Uh, it's also got you know leaves, uh, list items, um, links, stuff like that. And that's the kind of selector. Um, for forms, you can do like display form details, and I don't think there's any form on this page, so you're not going to be able to see it. But anyway, uh, for show passwords, if you're in a form, and it, you know how it makes little bullets when you type a password, uh, if you click that, it'll just show the text. Um, Images, you can disable images, all, all images, and then it'll refresh it basically. And then you'll see that there are no more images. So, let's select that. Uh, miscellaneous, there's also edit HTML. If you want to just, if that's another, that's another easy way for live previews to um, code your pages so you're not having to constantly go back to your editor. To, and then saving and then going back to the page is just right there. And again, this can be moved anywhere on the page. And you can also have the CSS tab open as well. So you see it's got both edit CSS and HTML. Um, outline, if you outline, you can outline uh, block elements, and you'll see now that's everything that's um, on the page for like DIV, stuff like that. Rid of that. Uh, resize. This is really nice for if you're looking at trying to see what, what, what your profile looks like on the resolution. So you can go to edit resize dimensions. And I can go add and I can go 1280 by 800, 1280 pixels in width and then 800 pixels in height. I'll go ahead and zoom in for that. And then enter. Brings this back down. Press OK. Resize, and then you can see that that's now what the profile looks like on 1280 by 100. Uh, tools. This is nice if you're on your if you're making your own website. You can do you can validate your CSS and HTML right from the page. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's pretty handy. Uh, view source. Uh, you can just do Control U, Command U, but that's there also. 
and it has some options. And then you can you know, get rid of it or bring it back. And that's basically how to get the web developer toolbar in Firefox and some of the basic editing features. So thanks for watching.